Uh, all right, let's get into to the quality thing that you wanted to chat about based upon your Washington Post article. So, and this was, this was a, like, most dietary supplements, like, don't do anything. The Washington Post did a big highlight. All of the big, like, chain, like, chain places that people buy vitamins, sorry, like the Walmarts, the Targets, the GNCs, the vitamin shops, all of those things, they have, they tested, like, primarily multivitamins and some other supplements, but about how there was actually like very, very low or no amounts of the vitamins that they say are on the bottle because they are not, supplements are not regulated like food is by the FDA. Um, so there's no, say, like, and this is what we mean when we say like, just because the label says it's this, it can be off in calories or in exactly what's in there. Um, it's gonna be the same with supplementation and because there's no quality control on supplements, um, like you can get, you can be buying something that has nothing in it. So I think like the usage of paying money for a better quality supplement and taking less on um, like, or having to take less variety of supplements. Like I know people that are on like a multivitamin, a B vitamin, a D vitamin, like all of these things. And I'm like, you just need a better quality multivitamin. And then I already have someone saving money on um, just by only buying one good quality thing, even though um, it is. The other thing is the supplement industry is a $35 million a year business. Like there is a lot well, of money. Billion, not billion. Bill yeah, like sorry. With a B. With with a B. B. There are sorry. supplement companies alone that make $35 million alone yeah. with a single company. This is billions. Oh, okay. right. Their words are hard, Trevor. Words are hard. Million, so, like, billion, like it's the same thing, right? No, yeah. completely different. It's three more. It's not, it's not even close. Um, so it's just the idea that our supplements, supplements can be a big ripoff if you're not getting good quality ones. And that is why at FF and uh, in like nutrition practice, like getting provider only supplements is really important. Also, just because you can buy them on Amazon and you think they're the exact same thing, they are not. They can be expired. They can be tampered with. Um, and et cetera, et cetera. So just like some food for thought on where you're buying your supplements from um, right. and what quality is. Cause I think quality control is a huge issue. Um, and we're like, we are big on promoting like whole foods and like shop organic uh, from the dirty dozen and like all of these things. And like, where does your meat come from and all of these, but if we're not paying attention to the quality of our supplements, it's the same as not paying attention to the quality of our food and eating right. canola oil for breakfast. Don't do it. Don't do it. And um, if you do what I'm talking about, just watch last week's episode. Right. So what Ashley was saying, I want to reiterate a few things. One is the supplement industry isn't regulated like drugs are by the FDA. Um, so that means companies uh, can put fillers in. They can put other things in. Um, really weird stuff shows up. Like in protein powders, you're going to see heavy metals. There was a huge study that came out very recently that looked at a lot of the major protein powders on the market. And a lot of them had like higher levels than what's acceptable for humans of things like lead and uh, like mercury. And like there were a ton of different, like it was just like not good, right? Like this stuff, heavy metals should not be showing up in your protein powder. And so supplement camp companies can- Or in your can, lipstick, just, just to throw that out. Or in your lipstick, just, <laughs> sure. well, also another thing. Right. The heavy metals should be like in the ground. Um, so uh, companies can opt to have third party testing. So any supplement company that you do go with, they should have extensive third party independent reviews on all of their stuff. Um, there's a reason why at FF we carry like random companies. Like we'll carry like we carry like amino code from Ultra Human and we carry like multivitamin from Aniva and we carry like protein powder from plant fusion and we carry like uh uh vitamin d from life extension and so we basically find the products that are the best and not necessarily always like they're all going to be from the same company it's going to be well, the best the, products that are out there and the company companies can't be the best at making every single supplement no. like so know that certain companies are going to provide better options than in certain things or you know, maybe there's a different way that we're trying to look at things or percentages that we're trying to stay within. And like, 
one company might be higher or a different way than that we want them to be. So that's the other thing that we're looking for at FF is like, we want to offer a fish oil that has these, this qualifications and yep. some might be close and they might still be good quality, but we're looking for like, to meet the majority of needs and like for dosing and price also price is another thing right. that we look at too. Like I, maybe the best one, like I love Nordic naturals. It's a great fish oil. We're talking like $60 a month on fish oil. Like, right. Which at this money. point, fish oil has become so ubiquitous that enough companies that are doing it, that the, the economies of scale are there that we can find it from other companies cheaper with the same level of quality. Right. And so like, that's what we look at is both things. Like quality is definitely number one. Like if we can't find something of equal quality, that's less expensive then we go with the highest quality. But if we can find something that is of equal quality of a lesser price, we're obviously going to go with the lesser price, right? Because at the end of the day, um, like we take the stuff as well. Like I take all of the supplements that we carry. Like I don't take them all at once, but like I would take that stuff, right? I take what's specific to me. Um, yeah, to what my needs selling, are. we're not selling anything at the gym that we would put in our own bodies. I think Correct. it's really important we don't just have stuff on the shelves that we think would be awesome. Like Trevor has me looking for a collagen powder and I still am yet to put one on the shelf at the gym because I'm still not happy with what can be available. Right. Sourcing is really important for it. So just those are things that I think are really important there. 